Pritchett Mythic Championship won champion earlier last year in 2019. Going up against Yuma Kuzumi. Here's your mirror. Ramping it. Doing what we do here on the SCD2 Online Season 2 Championship. I'm excited for some busted turns involving Lotus Cobra. And speak of the devil, and it shall appear. Looks like no spike field has to take care of that card. And here's an Uro, so we might have a fun little Lotus Cobra turn, though. Uh, we are Triumph Heavy here for Autumn. So we're going to need to land that. There's the battlefield untapped, some sort of pathway, perhaps, to be able to play Omnath on turn number three. And that is a glass pool mimic. Now that could copy the Lotus Cobra, of course. You play this Triumph, you trigger the Cobra. Glass pool mimic costs three, and then you got two Cobras in the battlefield. And well, we uh, we know what that can look like. So mm -hmm. the rebates. Yeah. So second Cobra, first Cobra is going to slither on the in. I think you've got a noise for that attack. Is that true? <laughs> there it is. Yep. There it is. Uro, Titan Nature's Wrath, once again. Let's do it in one more time. Here's Confounding Conundrum. No one's going to draw a card. Look to slow down some of the ramping ability of this, uh, of this ramp mirror. And now there is Spikefield Hazard. So yeah, let's slow things down quite a bit here. Another Triumph draw. Man, really weird draw. I haven't really seen this before. Just so many Triumphs. Looks like we're going to have an Omnath here in just a moment, along with an attack with Lotus Cobra. But Autumn's, uh, Autumn's matter is, I want to say, is not cooperating, but I can't necessarily say that's true because drawn plenty of, drawn plenty of lands and they have all their colors. So it is cooperating. It just looks strange. Yeah, it's it's mana and stuff to do. You're right. It's not the smoothest curve, but nothing, nothing wrong with Autumn's draw. Totally oh. functional. Here's a Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, another Conundrum, Lotus Cobra. Looks like maybe a couple of triggers here for the Cobra as well. Not the best Genesis Ultimatum we've ever seen, that's for sure. So I'm going to be drawing a card off the Conundrum and a little bit of mana here off of Le Cobra. Uh, it's big. Breaking news here. Rob, the director, big Cincinnati Bengals fan. Came in the headset. You want to break the news here, Patrick? It's a tie. Yes. Yes, it is. Now, I don't know. Does that does that count as a win, you think, for the Bengals? It Tying against the Eagles? Does that feel like a win? Tie against the Eagles on the road? Absolutely. Yeah, that feels like a win to yeah, me. absolutely. Okay. All right. How do you think the Philly fans treat it? That feels you like a loss them. for them. You can ask feels them. like a loss for them. You ask them, and then you have your answer. Mm-hmm. So uh, congrats, Rob, on the, uh, the the big win there. As we will turn our attention back to this. Uro on the battlefield alongside that Cobra. Autumn with another Triome. Then trigger the Omnath. Mm, looks like we wanted to lead out with Rana first. That's why you see the oops emoji. Rana Heart of Kelt, I think, is a card that's going to continue to see more and more play. Um, just a card that's pretty aggressively priced. 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. As long as it's your turn, has first strike, you can look at the top card of your library anytime, and you may play lands from the top of your library. And, of course, Rana can give plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of lands you control for 4 red and a green, so 6 mana total. Here's a Cultivate. It is, it is not a weak card. There's just oh. so much competition for cards that do that sort of thing. Especially the three mana slot, right? Right. You you want some extra mana. You want some implied card advantage. Like there are, there are a lot of cards you can play. Yep. I'm with you on that one. You got a lot. You got a lot of options of what you can do there. Right, but the card is not weak. I, I it is it is legit. There's just a lot of cards like it. Here's a mystical dispute. Terror of the Peaks hanging out. Here comes Santa Claus. That's Uro. That's going to get in for six. Draw a card. Fabled Passage. Is that going to help us catch up? Mountain on the top of the deck. This would have to be a really, really 
really good Escape to the Wilds. But I don't think that's impossible here. There's a land. Here's an escape. Three, four, five. The problem is that anything that doesn't engage with the battlefield, um, the terrorists is just likely to undo all of this work and then some next turn. And a tough thing too now is because of the confounding conundrums that are on the battlefield, if you play another land here off of the escape, you're actually not helping yourself all that much. You're going to have to pick up a land. So, you know, can, can, uh, the conundrum has been, Confounding Conundrum has been an interesting card because some people feel like it's really good in this mirror, others not so much, but there are definitely spots where it's impactful. Yes, no, no question. How good it is is tough to say, but its impact is notable. Well, okay, well, now I think it starts to get out of control, like you mentioned. C Combo. Yeah, Terror of the Peace going to take your Omnath. There's another creature here, perhaps, then things are going to get real silly real quick. I do like this element of, of the deck, though. Just getting the game over with. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, you've, always been a, you've always been a big proponent of that. Let's get it over with. Here comes our own Terror of the Peaks. And I don't necessarily even think you're wrong. I mean, there is value in just the games don't have to drag on forever. I mean, this deck is incredibly powerful, and as a result, it is pretty good at getting the game over with, as you like to say. Do you want the game decided by the fourth ultimatum or something? Just get it over with. <laughs> I do not. No, I don't either. <laughs> How about the third Terror of the Peaks? Can we decide it that way? Is that okay? Yeah. 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 Triggers, plural. We'll deal five upstairs and five to Rada, uh, and show me the best turn of all time, <laughs> is what you was saying right now. Because if not, this one's probably over, folks. It looks like Autumn's thinking about starting off with Omnath. Okay. Those four hands will glow. Where this turn stops, nobody knows. And how about right there? We figured it out where it stops. Yuma Koizuma, Koizumi, excuse me, up a game right now over Autumn Bird Chat. Four color ramp mirror. Belongs to our player on the right side. Thus far, game number two going to be underway here shortly. Remember, we still have a topic to bring you here this, uh, this early afternoon slash evening. It'll be a lot of four color ramp mirrors, so if you're into that, this is the place to be. Uh, and if you're looking for a hero, Gruel Adventures is into the top eight. We know that for sure, so I think we'll be keeping our eyes on that. Patrick, let's do this every weekend. This? Yeah. Yeah. Every weekend. Every weekend. That's a lot of weekends to Or at do least this. one day. One day each weekend. Oh, uh, do we have to? Or? <laughs> no, we don't have to. Okay, all right. Chill out, I mean, watch some magic, tell some jokes, check out the football score. It's not bad, you know? As far as quarantine goes, it's, you, you could be living a lot worse. It's not bad. It's not bad. All things considered, it's not bad. I can't pretend that it is. Check out the football scores, he says. Check out the scores. We'll try them. Gonna work towards a uh, maybe a nice little cobra turn next turn. Here we go. There's Uro. Well, I guess you could work towards an Uro turn. So interesting little play there. Autumn elected to not play Lotus Cobra on turn two. Could have just played it. Maybe it gets killed by the hazard. So instead, we could play Lotus Cobra this turn. And then play a planes, trigger, get a green mana, and play another Lotus Cobra. I think that's really a function of how suspicious the opening land is. Sure. Just, they lead on and enters the battlefield tap land so frequently. 
This one's interesting. Okay, so this is Cobra Leave Dispute Up. Yeah. All right, well, there's the hazard, sure. That's awesome, not awesome read by Autumn. And yeah. the reason that you can sort of make that call there is the opening the land. It's just is you got to have some 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 signals go off there if that's your opponent's first land in the mirror match. Yeah, I think so too. There's another Cobra. There's an Evolving Wilds. And a blue man. Okay. And it looks like just going to pass. So is there another hazard here? There was one previously that everyone kind of saw coming. Now here's the second one. So fair enough. So both Cobras are taken care of. Kenrith Earl, double dispute in hand for Burchett. Going to sacrifice the Evolving Wilds now. Looks like Island is the weapon of choice. And now, a pathway drawn. Was thinking Uro. Still may be thinking Uro. And now it will be the Elder Giant, which will resolve. So, triggers are plenty, as we know. Route of the draw. Put a land on the battlefield, could be that pathway. Give this one quite the thought. All right, pathway in, red side. Earl headed to the graveyard, pass that turn back. So no real explosive action here from Burchett, but the, the four-color ramp mirror does slow down quite a bit after sideboard. We do know that. We've been seeing a lot of that where game one, there's very little in the way of interaction typically, though the winning list from yesterday had, had quite a bit of counter spells. But then post-board... The, the counter spells plus the threat of your opponent untapping and doing something overwhelming is so huge that the, the games do not resemble each other. A, yeah. a lot of the same cards, but the incentives, what you're playing around, what the sequencing is, is very different. Well, I agree with you on that one, partner. That's Arata. That's going to resolve. Top card is a triumph, so that's a land that can be put on the battlefield. Mountain will be the next card drawn here for Burchette. And still has access to not one, but two mystical disputes. So, Glasspool Mimic and Handle. Joining Kenrith and a Uro in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. So you see a lot more of trying to advance the resources with cards like Uro. In Autumn's case, there's, there's Rada. While leading up counter spells. Just try to get your two for ones once you get ahead on mana at a certain point that allows you to play around the reaction too, either by two spells of one turn being able to counter back on their counter spell being able to pay for a mystical dispute in a key sequence so i really like the way that that autumn is managing things so well really measuring uh, accruing their advantages where they can without exposing themselves to some needless risk Escape to the Wilds on top of the deck right now. It is interesting in so far as Koizuma is not really doing much of anything. It has just been lands, spike field hazards. That's it. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, I'm curious what they're holding. Five cards. Don't have any idea what they are because we just have Autumn's perspective. But not much of anything going on over there right now. All right, beatdowns. There's some sort of maybe shark typhoon over there or something. Are we just going to activate the ability? Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How about a little ten ball? Mm. Bang. Okay. Hey, if, if it works, it works. Love it. Ten twice is game over. You still have to spew up. So, Burchett really thinking, look, if you're not going to do anything, I'm going to hit you for 10. I mean, it's very That's powerful. Your life. Very powerful to do this and leave up a uh, dispute, too. There's Omnath. Are you talking about leaving up dispute? Yes. Koizumi can pay. And looks like we're going to... Okay, so this is a little dispute battle. 
which means now Omnath's going to hit, draw a card, can sacrifice the Fabled Passage to get four life and bring themselves up to 14. Escape to the Wilds. And there's a pathway. Looks like of the branch loft variety. So do we go escaping or do we go canvassing? I don't think we're going to do any mimicking right now. And maybe Uro is an option, but doesn't look like just yet. Well, there's escape. Okay. Thought we might go that way. It's just a lot of lands in spike field hazard, so not the best. Lotus Grove is on top, working with that information because of Rada. But yeah, not the uh, not the best escape to the wilds, that's for sure. Yep. Gave that up in, in in lieu of basically inducing a chump block on uh, on Omnath. Yep. No attacks, turns over. So if you're looking for five good cards right off the escape, you come to the wrong place, at least for right now. Didn't find them. Well, speaking of escape to the wilds, here we go. Are we going to try to dispute this? We are. Is there a dispute or a negate coming? Anything like that here from Koizumi? The answer is no. I will sacrifice the Fabled Passage. At least four lives going to be coming. Mm -hmm. And if there's another land, that means we're going to be generating a lot of mana. So there's Landfall Trigger 1 from Omnath, up to 14. We got Landfall Trigger number 2. Unclear. Looks like the answer is no. Okay. Good news. Yeah, a little surprised we sacked then. Not quite sure what do we what do we accomplish by just sacrificing the Fable Passage there. I'm not sure. Here's Cobra. Because also, what you've done is you've taken away the ability to bluff like anything blue when you just have a green and a white up. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a... Uh, that was... Um, did not break well. Yeah, it just, it just looks a little bit strange uh, on my side of the coverage booth of... All right, what's... I don't have to play around anything. I can just kind of do whatever I want now. Mm -hmm. At least it appears that way. Here's Glasspool Mimic. We're going to copy Cobra. All right, well, how about some mana generation fun? Spikefield Hazard? Oh, yeah. Mm. Ding dong. Hello. Mm. <laughs> That's another car. There we go. Big fella's coming back. Trigger. You know the drill. Draw a card. Play land. Trigger your Lotus Cobras. Uh, duh. Get yourself some green mana. Get yourself a Kenrith. This has first strike. <laughs> Not too bad. No. Not too bad. And Rada is super lethal next turn along with everything else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dunzo. Game three. Let's get ready for it, shall we? On for Chet, Yuma, Koizumi. Four color ramp mirror all tied up. Thanks to the player on our left, Mythic Championship One Champion. Remember the MPL as well, Autumn Chat. 
All right, everybody. Let's take a look. Triomes, Pathway, Escape, Burrow, Omnath, Mystical Dispute. Games take a long time. Don't have to worry about getting aggroed out. The only concern right now, if I am Autumn, is I hope you don't have a turn to Lotus Cobra. Which you do. And I don't have an answer to. And can't really blow up a whole lot of action. I suppose Mystical Dispute could break up an Omnath, but... Which is good. Turn three Omnath yeah. is going to get taken care of if that's the if that's the plan here for Koizumi. And set... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that no. is brutal. That oh, is brutal. no. That is a reason that I think people might play that card. It's because that is another threat, and it's not a blue one there in Feldar Retreat. So now we got to get a move on. It's going to be an Uro, Titan Nature's Wrath. Triggers... What land are we putting on the battlefield? Thinking Fabled Passage? It will be Fabled Passage. Still means Dispute is available, which is good news. Genesis Ultimate has something to play towards here for Burchette, but going to be falling behind pretty quickly, Ooh. especially with the deck with no sweepers. Yeah, Fabled Passage. That's good with the Cobra and the Retreat. You get it. Mm -hmm. You do get it. Sack do, that package. Do you get it? I, I am getting it. I feel another as though man. I may be getting it. Another man, another cub. Escape to the Wilds. Can't dispute that one either. That's good. Another passage. Mm. Another cub. Trigger the Cobra. Add a green. Another cub. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nothing wrong with Burchette's hand, but just not equipped for this, this sort of start. Yep. This was not equipped to handle Lotus Cobra. I mean, next turn is is pretty much just lethal, just with the escape. If if you have two lands to make, just put counters on your team. Yeah, I mean, you've already got a land on the battlefield there in the passage, so you can make your team into three power creatures if you want. That's an attack for fifteen. You mentioned having another land. That's an that's an additional plus five power. That's an attack for twenty points of damage right there. And what are you gonna do? Play an Omnath? I'm not even sure that's gonna resolve. Right. Well, I guess it will, because if you have a dispute, I can dispute back, so that's a positive. But in order for me to do that, i got to sacrifice my land. That means I don't gain my four life. So a little dispute battle perhaps coming here. Sacrifice that passage. There's your island. Build our retreat. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Right, so you get it. Because mm -hmm. you have two Cobras. So now you have mana left over. So if you want to negate or dispute this is this dispute. <sighs> Just have it all. Why not have it all? Mm, didn't have it all that time, it looks like. Alright, that's in. Still no no, you know, big loss there. Nothing to be unhappy about. Let's, let's see. Four, six attackers. Excuse me. Block one. You can, you play a land. You can get in for fifteen. Well, you can play two lands now if you find two of them. Two lands will wrap it. Make these into four power creatures. I think we only have one in a triome. Well, no, there's pathway. So yeah, I think uh, I think it should be over. Cobra's gonna generate some mana here. You got Neuro, all right. Sure. Uh, that's on me. Hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, 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 it should be. Yeah. I'm yeah, this that. is still this is lethal. That's twenty. Yeah, that's twenty. Two lands yeah, is twenty. It's a clean twenty. Yep. Thought I might have been missing it, but how about another land? It's gonna be more than twenty. And it's gonna play it. So we're just uh, we're spinning. What is it? Spinning the ball on the finger? Is that what you we're call up, that? Running up the score. There you go. Good game indeed. Yuma Koizumi gonna win this game match over Autumn Burchett. Two games to one. Four for the Rat Mirror.